let me take you back in time a bit. This is the Canon PowerShot A700. This exact camera is what ignited my obsession with YouTube. YouTube has always been an obsession of mine since I can remember. When I was 13, I started skateboarding and I could lend my dad's camera, which I then used to make skate videos that I edited on Winners Movie Maker. After days of editing, I would upload this to various YouTube accounts and average out about 5 to 10 views. And that would give me enough motivation to go back and make another one. Even enough motivation that I'm still here. Keep your eyes Again. on the horizon I was looking to belong as you can see, this room is a pretty bland, boring room. I spent a lot of time here and I wanted to spark a bit more creativity inside of me. So I bought some stuff, let's get into it. And last but not least. That does look a lot better. <laughs> What's up? It's Wednesday today and I will be working on the code the whole evening. Um, I have a lot of JavaScript stuff to do. I need to fix the AX calls to let everything work smoothly on the front end. Um, I'm with my colleague here. <laughs> and uh, together we're gonna clean up all the code because I made a pretty big mess of it. Next to that, I will also start on polishing up the front end this week. So let's dive into it. As you can see, I got the first one working right now. No page refresh, just this subview that gets updated. So I just got done. So I've written three new JavaScript functions to smoothen out the front end experience because I've written Ajax calls and that means that it will post and get information without reloading the page. So that's done and we will be continuing all of this tomorrow evening. What's up everyone, it's Thursday evening. I just got back from work. I'm pretty energetic still, even though it was a long work day. We'll be working on the code again tonight. Um, I'm gonna clean up more JavaScript, fix more Ajax calls and I will be going to the barber in a second. So the next time I'll be updating you guys, I will be having a fresh cut. As you can see, I got my fresh cut and I just got done with working for tonight. So I made this whole Axios Ajax call to smoothen out joining events. So as you can see, you have this button here to join events. It's currently, it's working on the ID, but I'm gonna fix that it generates codes for it. If you press this and you just join an event, it will automatically update it when you click it. And there it is. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but <laughs> it sure was. I'm pretty tired. It's 30 past 10 right now. I'm gonna hit the hay for tonight because tomorrow I will be co-working with a very good friend of mine and I will take you guys with me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning. Just got out of bed, took a shower. My friend is on his way here right now. We're gonna co-work the whole day, start here, go to the gym. After that, we're gonna co-work at a coffee shop. My girlfriend is still in bed, so I have to be a bit quiet, but I'm ready for the day. I'm gonna eat some breakfast, get some coffee, and then I'm gonna put in some hours today. Okay, pause. This is Dennis. Me and Dennis have been friends forever. It feels like we're mentally connected. We love the same things, we think about the same things, and we spend our time the same. I wish everybody could have a friend like Dennis. <laughs> Losing money. <laughs> so we've been working the whole day on uh, me on my software and Dennis on his trading uh, journey. I've been reworking all my JavaScript code. It's all cleaned up right now. And I've also reworked the whole bingo card creation so that you can only create it 
during the first two phases of the event and then when the event start um, you can't access it anymore and it saves it and it distributes it to all its players and currently i started working on a invite link so that you can invite people with just a link so you don't have to paste the code or anything pasting code still works but let's go, let's go. <laughs> 2024 is gonna be our year <laughs> But I think using an invite link will be better and a bit smoother for the system and also for the experience. What are the plans for this afternoon? Uh, doorwerken, nu even pauze nemen en dan, het is lekker weer vandaag. En daarna is het weekend. Wat ga je dan doen? Zijpie. <laughs> Ik kan wel wachten tot het allemaal loopt en dat er mensen zijn die je software gebruiken en zo. Maar vooral het stuk uh, ernaartoe is denk ik veel vetter om, om te filmen. Als je straks ergens op bent en je post alleen maar van ja, ik verdien zoveel geld, ik verdien zoveel geld. Dus van ja, iedereen kan het posten. Yeah. Maar niet iedereen post gewoon de, de hele weg naartoe. So we just got done with the invite links. I wanna check it out. If you go to the um, address, join events and you type in the unique invite code and you press enter, you will join the event. So we're done with working on that. We're gonna call it quits soon, I guess, for today or no? Oh yes. <laughs> It's almost weekend, man. Time for beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the update. <laughs> Almost done. I love when the good news coming in on a day. Making money over here. Shake the egg, big moves, big step. So we just got done uh, co working at the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just got done uh, working in the coffee shop and uh, we're gonna hit the gym right now and after that we're gonna play some poker tonight, I guess, and uh, celebrate the weekend. <laughs> yes. Back bicep, here we go. <laughs> First time in my life I've tried making a, a YouTube channel and um, uploading frequently just as I did with the skateboard videos. So I just want to talk about that. But never the time felt so right as it does right now. I just don't know why it just does. And ever since I was young I had like this big big aspirations for YouTube but I was just too scared to upload and scared to get bullied during high school and I do still feel the regret of not taking that risk back then but as we get older like people tend to care less about everything around them and so do I I really feel that so so I think that the thing we learned during making this episode is that the biggest risk in life might be not taking any at all What's up everyone? It's a new week, new chances and I just got back from work, took a shower as you can see and now I'm ready to get into the code. I will be writing tests tonight. I've never written tests so I'm really curious how that goes but it's never too late to learn so let's dive into it. So I just made the story event test and it works, it gives me two checks and it tests uh, event creation and what happens if you put in the wrong data. Mushu is still very tired from the fat as you can see. I try to let him rest as much as possible. I'm getting hang of making the tests, still pretty arcane to me, but I already learned some new stuff. So let's dive into the rest. just got done making tests for the night. I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm gonna dive into bed. I actually spent like two hours just watching videos and reading documentation to learn how all of this testing works. This whole project is just about learning new stuff and diving into this whole SaaS world. I can say I'm enjoying that. Yeah, we got all of the event testing down and I learned what factories are, so uh, we learned a lot tonight. I'm pretty happy with the progress we made, but I'm more than ready to dive into my bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sleep tight. So here I am again on YouTube. Maybe the videos won't blow up and my channel won't get a million subscribers, but that's not the reason why I'm doing this. This channel is all about the journey towards, the growth, and the freedom to create. And I won't let fear and doubt hold me back this time. It might seem scary and um, I might get a few awkward comments and the first couple videos might not be perfect, but guess what? that's okay we all have to start somewhere and taking imperfect actions are better than taking perfect inactions in my opinion so it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to my youtube channel as it helps sharing my journey with others and i really want to thank you for sticking around until the end and i can't wait to see you all next time